I'm Beverly Welch here at the Arbor Gate with Angela Chandler from the Garden Academy. Hi, Beverly. How are you? I'm doing great. Well, you know, Angela, it's the end of summer, and our our spring garden is is done. It's done. We we've harvested it. We canned. We froze. And it's time to, to think about this season ahead. And yes, it's not too late to replant a lot of these summer veggies, right? It's really not. You know, when it gets hot, people kind of think, you know, oh my gosh, it's gardening season's over. But there are a lot of things that in our, our climate that will grow all summer long and actually go all the way to, to a, the, the fir our first frost. Which could be January. It could be. That's we have right. another mild winter. I think the one thing that surprises people the most is that they can have a second crop of tomatoes. There's several things that we plant as spring crops mm -hmm. in that late February, early March that can be planted again. One is the tomatoes. Uh, they should be thinking about planting peppers. Peppers will go for a long ways too. Eggplant can go in again. And even a uh, fall planting of summer squash. Oh, absolutely. Now, you went in, the, in uh, the herb house and picked this one out for a particular reason. I did. You know, a lot of us direct seed squash, but one advantage to buying a squash seedling like this is that this stem is stiff enough that I can take a strip of uh, just aluminum foil right. or, or even newspaper and I can loosely wrap it around uh, this stem and that will discourage the squash vine borer that gives us so much trouble in our area. That's great to know. Another thing, you know, we, we're always anxious in the summer about our green leafy vegetables because we're fairly limited, but this is a real winner. It is the uh, Malabar spinach yeah. or Basella rubra. One, it's very pretty. It's gorgeous. Uh, it's a vining plant. It sends out that tall tendril that's just looking for something to climb. It has these little buds of little pink flowers on it. Um, and it is a, a summer um, spinach substitute. Is and it is a reseeder. So it once is. you get it established in your garden, you will get it back year after year oftentimes. Y yeah, and actually enough to share as well. And as you mentioned, it's such a beautiful vine. It's one of our ornamentals, right? It is an ornamental for so, sure. So beautiful in the landscape. And speaking of that, you know, if you like yellow blooming hibiscus, how about some okra? Okra. You know, <laughs> okra is a hibiscus, um, which a lot of people don't realize. It has a beautiful yellow flower with a very deep colored throat. Um, this is a plant that will literally go from now until a good freeze knocks it down. It's very happy in the cooler temperatures of the fall. Um, so, and it's a, it's a pretty plant as well. And you, know, you don't have to plant. let it grow really tall. You know, I'm, I'm short, so I'm always thinking about that. And if it gets too terribly tall, you can tip it back. It will branch and actually give you more production. Great. Well, you know, and even like this one, for instance, is orange. Oh, There's and that orange, red the red is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So aside from our transplants that we can do right. right now, what are we looking forward to with as far as our seeds? This is another thing, is that starting in the 1st of August, that's when we need to start thinking forward to our fall garden. Okay. A lot of these things like uh, cabbages and Brussels sprouts and broccoli, those take about six to eight weeks from seeding till they're ready to go in the garden. So okay. we need to start these in August so that they're ready to go in starting mid to late September. So we can just use these little peat pots, um, start them, keep them in a little bit cooler space. In a little bit cooler space. Um, you can also uh, do some pre-germination if you want to, uh -huh. but um, if they'll start with the um, Arbor Gates um, organic blend for their fertilizer and the soil complete, uh, using these peat pots is a great way. You can plant a whole garden in one of those trays. Right. And then just get them, get them started off, uh, just watch their sunshine. The plant will kind of tell you what it needs. Sure. If it's getting tall and leggy, it probably needs a little more sunshine. So just be prepared. It's easy to move that one flat around the garden. Now these are these are planting or starting our seeds for our fall garden. Right. But we can direct so, sure can. some of these cucumbers and squash into the ground yes. in August and September. That's right. This is again like our, our second planting of these plants. And the cucumbers that they'll want to grow this time of year are what we call the burpless or suyo, Japanese cucumbers. Yes. Um, that Some people call them English cucumbers, yeah. but they don't have the hard dark green skin. And um, and they'll do very well and this time of favorites, year. I have to say. Oh, they're wonderful. They are so good. They're so good. They're so good. Now, we also have something here that has become very popular, kind of a superfood, if you will, uh, and people don't realize how well it grows here. Uh, here, it, it becomes more of a, it's a perennial. It is, it's a root-hardy perennial. So this is Moringa. Yes. 
and um, it is a, a health food. Many people um, take the leaves and they'll harvest a group of leaves and they dry the leaves and then use them in their smoothies. They can be tossed into soups or eaten fresh as well if, if you like that. Then the flowers are a very pretty little pale yellow flower. Mm -hmm. And then the seed pod is known as a drumstick and yeah. those are used in cooking as well. So Moringa is um, a, a pretty plant. It can be tip pruned if you want to keep it fuller. Um, you can either save seed and reseed, or you can simply cut it back when your first morning of frost comes. Okay. Uh, if the weatherman gets that right, <laughs> you can cut it way back and mulch it and cover it with a cardboard box, mm -hmm. and it'll stay there all winter long. Then just pull it off in late February, and it'll come oh, back that's out. Easy enough. It is very easy. Perfect. So it's never too late. Never too late. And you've got a great planning guide for us on the website and on the app. Um, Everything's so useful, I can't wait to get back in the garden. Yeah, fall, it falls the beginning of our garden season. It's almost time to get ready. Thanks, Angel. You bet.